One of the difficulties in the hinges, these here are short piano hinges in the FP series, is uh, getting them aligned, first of all, vertically on the, uh, on the uh, rear spar and um, at a approximately 20 degree angle on the aileron. And not only that, but getting them all in line. And this is one process that you really can't dry fit. You actually have to lay it out as exactly as you can. Assemble it, and you don't know if it's going to be uh, perfectly free-flowing, until free-moving until, until you assemble it and test it. And, of course, we're going to line this up as best we can. Even though we're bringing the hinge down, even with the, this is the top of the aileron. We're going to line it up, see the three lines. This is spun around and turned upside down, so it's the outboard. It's the outboard hinge. Oh, come on. All right. That's hinge number three. I'll put it back over with the outboard. Now, because of the angle on the back side of the aileron, you barely have any clearance at the top of this uh, nut that you're going to put in. What do they call it? A barrel nut? Whatever that's called. Flange nut. Uh, and this is even tilted at about a, well, just less than a 10 degree angle. I'll show you how I do it. But uh, you can see that you're going to have to grind a lot off the one side of the, the flange. So I go ahead and use the jig to get it lined up left to right this way. But up and down, I go ahead and tilt it back about, oh, less than 10 degrees, about 7 to 8 degrees, maybe 10, no, it's about 7 or 8. And I got the point driven down in there, and I'm holding it square left to right so that they're all going in about the same. And Brad points, they don't, you can't feel it breaking through with them things. Now I've got the uh, nuts with the tabs broken off, the little spikes, because those little spikes, they'll crack your wood. You don't want to use them in this application. So you break them off, and then whenever I put my glue on it, I make sure I just put the glue behind the barrel, make sure I don't get it on the threads, and uh, I want it to go ahead and push back. I want it to go ahead and push back onto the T, the flange part, though. Put some on the flange. And then put it in from the back side. Oh, where'd I put the other one? And then I grab a hinge, might as well use the one that's supposed to go in there, and just snug it up. Now this here, these hinges, we're going to chamfer this hole. Even though that's real thin, we're still going to put a chamfer in it to bring it out closer to the uh, max diameter of this, the head of 
the, uh, the bolts we're using. That way they sink in. Otherwise, the hinge can't completely close. It can't go down all the way. We don't tighten them up super tight. Just snug them up. Make sure the make sure the flange is drawn in. You got glue on the barrel and glue on the flange. Just make sure it's pulled in so the flange is tight too. So all the flange nuts are installed and pulled in tight. And the ones, of course, on the back of the um, elevator. They're going to need ground off right there. I just go ahead and put them in, glue them in. I leave the, the bolt on. Now see the head, how the heads are w way up there. These here holes are all going to be chamfered, uh, chamfered back so the, the uh, bolt heads will recess right back in.